It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, and it comes your way next. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college and last season. He unleashed it upon the NFL, ran for over 1,100 yards, and would have broken the quarterback single season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. A gain of five, good enough for the first down couple of nice carries back to back here establishing the ground game a bit yeah these are bare bones runs now i mean they're getting substantial yardage the kind of yards you're looking for right let's go ahead and use a cliche stay ahead of the change right five more five or more yards each time that's what you're looking for and setting a tone and getting your offer and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game well he was really focused downfield but there was really no viable options the coverage was too good and the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football the only place he ended up down on the ground meanwhile field throw there hauled in by claypool and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot. Defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? 
tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second down. to throw now. Here's Love. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't. But he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 14. And the Packers first down. Love to pass. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. Now a second and ten. Here's Love. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 43 yards. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run here with Dillon. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Jones. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This Bears defense trying to hold on. This is third and goal. Dillon. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. 
Love to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two, and the Chicago defense able to come up with a goal line stand. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized, you know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you, you know. If people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to them, 11 yards and a first down. Here's Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. Now Fields gonna keep it running left. And this will be a Bears first down as he'll get this up to the 25. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Field's going to keep it once more. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On second down, a run with Herbert. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. To throw his fields. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On first and ten, it's Herbert. It's about six up to midfield. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and four. From the 50, here's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. First catch for the Bears' leading receiver from a year ago. It's a Chicago first down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Herbert powering up the middle. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll run with Herbert. 
Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Santos kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time, they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Love, they go play action now. And that is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Working out of the gun, Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and the Bears take over. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Off play action, Fields. This would complete to Tunyon underneath. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And off right side for Herbert. To about the 40-yard line. Second down and eight. Back to throw, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Two yards on the pickup there. And now third down and six to go. Now Fields, he'll let this go for the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. 
And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. And this will be taken at the 13. That will go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here, first and 10 at their own 23. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. The one thing we know about RPO throws, they don't take long to develop. He had him wide open to the outside, hit him with it. I think his eyes were looking downfield trying to see that open grass. Ends up dropping it. That's a missed opportunity. Second and 10. Love now. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Locked in completions at first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Now Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. I tell you what, third and ten, you look over, and you've got that punt team getting loose on the sideline. So that puts added importance on this play. You certainly don't want to see them on the field. And after a couple of incompletions, third time's the charm as they get the hook up here and pick up the first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, Maybe use that speed against him in the future. They go bootleg. Love. And that's caught at the 25. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 42 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throw caught by Musgrave. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. They'll come up second and seven. Throwing. Love. Rolling to his right. And he's brought down. Give him ten that time. Escaping the danger. Running with it and picking up a first down. Look, there's no question in my mind that Jordan Love is a pass-first quarterback. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have the wheels to get out of Dodge when necessary. So you will see Green Bay occasionally throw a quarterback run play in there, but for the most part... And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Packers have taken the lead. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units... They specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Second and seven. Fields now to throw. Packer pressure and down he goes. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Gary was proving his 2021 was no fluke. Had six sacks in nine games before a torn ACL ended his 2022 early. Looks like he's back in full form with plays like that. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Steady, steady, steady. That's Kenny Clark. And then there's those flashes as we just saw there as he gets to the quarterback. You can always rely on him to hold down the defensive front for the Green Bay Packers. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their 38. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Oh, look at the juke. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Another strong run from the underrated Aaron Jones. It really deserves more credit for what he has done for the Packers. Even splitting carries in an offense that loves to throw it around, Jones put up his third 1,000-yard season in the last four years. This one swung out here to Jones. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. On third down, Love. And the throw there going to be incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the 6-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs... Both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. 
And this offense on third down today, just one for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. From his goal line here, Fields. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the football game, and you hate to give away possessions, but instead of forcing something downfield on third down, that was a wise move to just get it to the sideline. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's able to get it out of there. And taken at the 46. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Yannick Ngakwe in on the stop. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And here's Jones again on second down. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that his defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. A disappointing end of the sequence there. He was starting to turn nothing into something, and then he lost the football. And sometimes things get lost in the transition. And what I mean by that is you go from being a passer to a runner. And at a certain point, once you cross the line of scrimmage, you're strictly a runner now. There's no more downfield threat. Make sure you take care of the football while you're traversing downfield. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Following the fumble recovery, Fields escapes the sack, fights through, and now a crease. Oh, nice move. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they can at least attempt a kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. And this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Second and goal from inside the five. Out of the gun, Fields. Touchdown! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead at 10-7. So that drive, four plays. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. the 
touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Love from the gun. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. I'll tell you, as a defender, you've got to make life as difficult as possible when you're trying to cover a big tight end because you know his catch radius is huge. He's unable to pull that one in, though. Here's second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here now a third down and eight. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Love. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Okay, Brandon, so thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios front. and as this we EA Sports to Orlando, Halftime where Jonathan Coachman This one's been as EA good as ever. Just report. a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, the Bears thanks were given as a solid always. First this half one's still by their game as Justin we Field. Back for he was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and and we're seeing a pretty good one. Taking it right down Broadway. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Love now to pass on first down. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 45-yard line. Now a second and two. Up 
the middle, Jones. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Territory now. This is first and ten at the 44 yard line. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. That was a good run and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. A second down throw for Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. To throw now, here's Love. That is caught. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up for the first and goal. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And it's caught, and it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out but they'll do so fatigued. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. 
from the 23. Here's the second and nine. Here's Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. A play fake, now Fields to throw. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football, well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that, and what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions, and then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Love looking to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. But there's no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. Third and nine here. Love now. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick is indeed good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. 
The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now an option play on second down. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 11 yards is the gain on the keeper there, but now it's third down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Packers pick it up. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. He was having success there, holding on to it on the option, but ultimately problems downfield, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and this is a tough one because you know you'd prefer to have your quarterback either heading to the sidelines or getting down at the end of the play. But you've got an aggressive one. He's fighting for extra yardage, and he gets stripped there. You don't need him to be a hero in that situation. You want your quarterback taking care of himself. Running right, Jones. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Love with a give to Dillon. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Now love. counts on that timing winning and in this case the ball is batted away would have been a decently long field goal 51 yards from here but instead they're going to go for it here's love and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Packers unable to pick up the first and the Bears will get the football back so they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this game and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. A loss of three on a sack made by multiple defenders. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
The Green Bay offense ready to take over. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Second down, another shot for Jones. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. They'll come up now third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. And he is going to lose yardage here. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. The Bears on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and 16. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Official foul. The and Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bear first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A toss left side for Herbert. Enforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Credit the defense there to Quay Walker getting behind the line of scrimmage before they could rip off any sort of a gain. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football. And, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Rashawn Gary able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Shreds the tackle, and they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 82 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you gotta go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. That burst good for 20 and a first down. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, oh, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll go again to Jones. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Play action this time with Love. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Working out of the gun, Love. Going for the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Bears take over. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Now Herbert to start the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. On first down, Fields. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. From the gun, here's Fields. And he'll get this complete downfield to commit. A huge play there for Chicago. 54 yards. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there. A breakdown defensively. 
seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Mooney, the motion man right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to it. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent gain. They'll run here with Herbert. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Now, and he takes this one in. set up for a fantastic finish now a fourth quarter touchdown here we're an extra point away from a tie football game and i know they're thinking about possibly going for two but i'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level don't forget the extra point it's up and good and we are tied here in the fourth quarter setting up for a great finish all tied in the fourth as the kicks away Nixon now from his end zone and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line and Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field well they just gave up the score to tie it that's the bad news the good news plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Second and eight coming from the 19. Play fake, here's Love. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. A first down run here by Jones as he'll take it forward for a gain of about four. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second and six coming up.
In motion left goes Watson. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. Taylor now returning it. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The Chicago offense set to get started. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't missing. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's second and a yard. Back to throw. Fields. Buying top. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Devontae Wyatt in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Now Fields. And not a whole lot there, maybe three yards on first down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor 60 minutes just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game So it's the Bears who will have the first chance to win this thing as we are underway here in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now it's Fields. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. 
And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run. Went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 19. Here's Fields. And he's got the hook up to Moore. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Just looking down at this with a naked eye, looks like they have about a yard and a half. Any chance they go for it here? There's a chance, but I have to say, punt the ball here get rid of this thing and try and help your defense a little bit i know there's that temptation and i know people have it on their play sheet i have that one play that'll get me what i need but if you don't get it you pretty much handed the game to the other team so possession goes over here on the punt and it'll be packer football here first down and 10. love gonna break the huddle lead the packers up here first and 10 at their own 20 yard line now a first throw here in overtime. Looking deep here for Dobbs. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Down the right sideline. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. So a win here for the Packers. And it was thanks in part to their man under center, their veteran quarterback. Yeah, what struck me was how composed he was in the pocket. The numbers weren't spectacular. He had two touchdown passes, that's it. But he led his guys on some important drives when they needed it most. And they're going to come away with the victory.